Will someone please tell that fucking untold guy that he needs a haircut because he see he doesn't seem to get the idea and every time he sits down to record he just can't fucking get his hair right. Can someone tell that idiot to get a haircut? Like it's it's simple math. It's like if your hair's not working, get a fucking haircut, dumbass. Like someone go roast that guy. Anyway, <laughs> what's going on guys? Harley Ritz Untold. Today we're jumping in to Dragon Ball. Our next three episodes, I'm really excited to jump back into this. We have been actually taking a bit of a a darker, more serious tone route with this show, and I've really been enjoying it. And uh, not that I wasn't jo enjoying the show before, but honestly, with all the aspects that we have in the show right now, this is just amazing to me. So it, it's it's like wholesome. We're seeing Goku learn again. We're just getting like all like the the good parts of the show, and I, I'm really enjoying it. So uh, I'm really excited to jump back into it. And uh, also ignore my hand. I uh, think I sprained my wrist. So. I don't actually know, but just to be safe, I am uh, <laughs> supporting it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we do have Attack on Titan on Sundays, Dragon Ball Mondays, Avatar Tuesdays, and John Wick or It on Fridays until Loki comes out. We'll have Loki on Fridays. And we just started a Patreon, but never feel obligated to check that out unless it interests you. We do have four weeks of early content if it does, though. But I think that's all the rambling out of the way. Let's go ahead and get into Dragon Ball. I'm just doing weird hand movements, and I'm just ready to get into Dragon Ball. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. Oh, shit. This is kind of cool. Like, circular tubed escalators? That's really creative, kind of. Oh, my God. He's literally doing, like, the... I hate it. <laughs> Hosky or Husky? You guys have to let me know, but I'm pretty sure it's Husky. That's what it says in the English subtitles, but that's never right, so I don't know. I'm really glad we're getting to see this uh, air museum, because I was kind of sad we didn't get to see it last time. What in the hell? This is really cool. This is awesome, dude. It would, like, cost a lot of money for the architecture, but I feel like this could actually be done in real life. It'd be really cool. <laughs> so your tickets? <laughs> That's amazing. Countrified hick. It's <laughs> a good way of putting it. She's literally a ninja. Oh my god. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, come on. That's just messed up. Oh my god, wait, what? Goku's not even over there. What are you doing? Oh. Why did I think she was throwing that at the roller coaster? I'm really confused. She is very sneaky. She, like, legit does things and just disappears immediately. <laughs> It's honestly like the main weapon with thievery, right? Is your brain? You gotta think it out. This is great. <laughs> Poor Yamcha. Yamcha, you've come a long way, my guy. I think you can apologize, because you used to not be able to even talk to her, so... Baby steps, but I think you can do it. Ah. These guys just go around robbing people. They're such assholes. Oh. This was Big Brain. Okay. I see. Yes, this is not... Nice lady. <laughs> this is the not-so-nice lady. <laughs> I do like that the girl that we're putting in the damsel in distress position isn't actually in the position. She's actually outsmarting all the men. I, I appreciate that. Because <laughs> it's not just your stereotypical 80s damsel in distress kind of thing. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's a mole. What in the world? It's like a Ferris wheel, but there's nothing connected to it. They're just floating. Oh, that's cool. The Taj Mahal, is that what that is? Is it gonna be like, give me your hand, close your eyes, and then <laughs> she's gonna swipe it? Or swipe them, actually. I forgot he had two. She literally just knows all this. <laughs> ah, the Dragon Balls. <laughs> oh god, Goku, no! <laughs> I know where this is. I, I, I know where this is going. <laughs> I knew where that was going. Like as soon as it started happening. <laughs> Damn it! That was stupid, but it was funny. And here we are. <laughs> he, he's not even sus of her. He's just he just knows they're bad. It's great. No, I wonder if like the uh, the Dragon Balls like if like the first Star Ball or the one Star Ball would be the first ball ever made, and the seventh Star would be the last, or if they have like different levels of power to them. But we haven't seen them be used like individually. They're they're only like the bring them all together, make the one wish. So in theory, they'd just be numbered, but. Also, they're also like the most mysterious thing in the show, so I have no idea. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I somehow forgot we were cutting away from this. That does not buy well with what we are just seeing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Literal fireworks. Oh god. And Balma heard that. I actually kind of hope he doesn't do it. Oh. Oh, is this the actual fortune teller? <laughs> I actually like this though. I I'm glad that they didn't end up kissing because that would have not gone well with Balma. Oh shit. It looks like that anyway. Oh dear. <laughs> she might just go crazy on her though. We might see Balma fight. <laughs> Get her, Balma. <laughs> oh. <laughs> y you were supposed to. I mean, I get it. <laughs> but you could help there too. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, Master Thief Husky. But it's like H A S K Y in the Japanese version, so I don't know if it's supposed to be like Husky or Husky. Oh, yikes. And the statue's hand? Come on. Statues are cool, man. It's like one of the hardest art forms to do, I feel, too. I don't actually know, it's just my take on it. I'm not an expert. Fuck! <laughs> For literally killing the kid. I forgot they were hired by, um, or she was hired by Red Ribbon Army. That makes sense, because they're brutal like that. They don't give a shit. She doesn't either, apparently. <laughs> you tripped to hell. <laughs> so glad we have the kid to wound back. Oh shit. Oh, that was nice. That was beautiful. Oh shit. Grab it, Goku. Grab it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, no, Goku. <laughs> Think we're good? Think we're good. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of big brain. I mean, 
I don't know. I feel like you could like lock your arms to where they don't move, but like, I don't know. I feel like that immediately makes your muscles kind of spaz. So like, that's kind of big brain, low key. She is not happy at all. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, she still has this goal. And it's in spite of Yamcha now? Oh no. No, Vama, no. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Not a care of the world. I love it. Oh my god, she shook herself down again. <laughs> Goku, that's Rue, you know. She just ended things with Yamcha. You're already carrying her off into the sunset. That's pretty messed up, bro. Alright, I think that does it for the first episode today. Alright, let's get to the next one. I'm excited to see what is going on. Really interesting to see this new chick, because she is, uh, she doesn't mess around. <laughs> We've noticed that much. She definitely does not mess around. That's a nice opening shot. It's actually beautiful. These are really nice shots. They're really simple, because they're just like painted images with Goku going across, but they're really, really nice, like, painted images. I like them. To the ocean place. Or at least, are they going back to the Kame house? Maybe? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is that fast enough, Bulma? Oh my god, go faster. <laughs> Blue. Yeah, I was about to say, is that another general? Because everyone else has been uh, named after a color. Much like Mr. Red here. <laughs> what is that thing? Literally, my cat bites me and then apologizes. <laughs> Just General Blue? It is. Said submarine, is it General Blue because he uh, works on the water? The ocean fl Oh my god, that makes a lot of sense. Like where Goku and them are going, because I didn't see them use the tracker, but that makes sense, they're going towards the Dragon Ball. <laughs> my god. Execute him at once, oh my god. Okay, just reminding us how brutal Red Ribbon Army is. Indeed he did. With ease. Me too, Goku. Except I know it won't be, because you have to be motivated to keep going. <laughs> We're gonna get like an underwater episode somehow, maybe? Because it's the second time now they've said it's at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, there's a boat here. Yes. Oh, I see the red ribbon logo. But they look like normal. They look like normal people. So, General Blue has these people searching for the Dragon Ball as well. I think. Just immediately. Bye. Ooh, capsules. Yeah. Oh. She grabbed the wrong one. Oh. Yikes. <laughs> oh god, what's it gonna be? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can actually see this reaction though. She's probably mentally comparing like her dad to Roshi and how he is with the same kind of 
tendencies with such magazines. So probably comparing them mentally, and it's not a good mental image. <laughs> of course he's serious about finding it. Have you, like, not met this man? When you first met him, he thought it was his grandpa. Of course he wants it. <laughs> I need to have a talk with the animators. Why they like draw drawing naked boys so much. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like it's every other episode at this point. <laughs> what, a, what a fascinating creature. <laughs> yup. Red Ribbon Army, I believe. Oh my god, immediately? They have no idea who she is? Just, they see her and just fire. Die. Why, though? <laughs> What's the reasoning here? <laughs> really? It took you that long to realize that Goku is not a female wearing pink with blue hair. I, I, okay. <laughs> yeah, so that must just be people I have out here. Yeah. I don't know. He's like, oh, food. This is really weird. I get they're portraying them to be bad, but that kind of shit doesn't fit in a show like this. It's just disturbing. Like, you go from a wholesome vibe to that, it's just it's just weird and disturbing. I don't like it. But we'll move past. <laughs> it's the only thing I haven't liked so far. I'm sorry. It's just, I don't know. Definitely didn't need to be part of the episode. <laughs> They don't recognize him when they see him, but they thought Balma was him. <laughs> My confusion is off the charts this episode, but it's fine. Oh my god, he cracked the helmet too. Low-key Goku, I don't know what your uh, killing rules are, but how rapey they were... Kill them. <laughs> Execute them. Off with their heads. <laughs> Both heads. I'm gonna take that as canonical death, okay? They blew up, they must be dead. Even though I've seen people survive explosions and gunshots in the show, I don't care if they're dead, alright? It'll make me happy, they're dead. I can move on with the show if they're dead, alright? They're dead. <laughs> Goku killed them. <laughs> He's just smiling. <laughs> they're not just a couple of perverts, though. Those kind of people don't deserve life, so. Low key. She doesn't like that idea. <laughs> oh my god. That's actually great. What's he allergic to out here? <laughs> I love that turtle. He's like my spirit animal. Well, that's a nice shot. Alright, and that was our second episode down. <laughs> so, uh, before we get to the third, because I usually forget, like, the first episode by the time I get to the third somehow. Um, the first episode was really interesting. We had, um, this new character we met in the previous episode, before that, last week. Uh, we actually met this girl, and we got to actually see her thieving in action. <laughs> and, uh, she really seems interesting. Um, 
I think we're gonna see more of her, just not yet, I think. Don't quote me. I don't know if we'll be seeing any more of her, but it, it was uh, really interesting nonetheless to actually see her <laughs> uh, just in action, kind of thieving and actually having kind of like maniacal kind of plans for Goku. And she actually saw through his uh, innocence to his ignorance. So it was really interesting to see a villain that is both taken seriously from the viewer's point of view and isn't like completely shit on by Goku right away. Like it was kind of built up and it was inter interesting to see that. I really appreciated it. And uh, that episode that we just watched, I really did enjoy for the most part. I just don't think that in a show like this, gag anime or not, it just should not. If there's a show that I click on, it gives me some wholesome vibes. I don't want those wholesome vibes to be corrupted by some weird fucking rapey vibes out of nowhere. Like, for no reason. For no good reason other than, man, we need to fill this runtime. Like, that shit fucking bothers me. That actually genuinely bothers me. Like, humans can be a hell of a lot better than that. And they, they are eventually, just not at this point in the timeline. So, I gotta get over it. But, uh, Turtle staring me in the face. Looks like we're gonna go see Turtle Hermit and Turtle himself. So, uh, well, let's go. I'm excited. Like, literally, other than, like, the, the the weird vibes in the episode, like, everything else was, like, perfectly fine. I, I really did enjoy it. And I'm actually glad they implied that he fucking killed them, because they deserved it. And I will I will die on that hill. <laughs> they deserved it. <laughs> I, 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 like, killed my vibe for a second. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, just seeing that, I was like, I, I... It's a wholesome cartoon. I don't want to see that shit, you know? Like, but I'm good now. <laughs> it just threw me off for a second. I think you can kind of see their corpses. That's a yikes. Ah, uh, I know this is rescue. They might not be dead. I don't know. They're not moving. But they also could have some crazy technology. What? Why, though? He grows flowers to crush them? I just wonder if, like, uh... Like, it would make sense if, like, he was Commander Red and had roses or something. Or if he's Commander Blue and had... Oh, my God. Does fucking Roshi make his turtle do the work around the house? I forget the, the turtle's name, but I love him. Oh, damn it. He has his videos again. <sighs> For shame. I'm actually happy to see Krillin again. Bonum. 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 That's just our theme song, I think. I keep hearing it. It reminds me of Pink Panther every time. Oh, are they going to find the Kame house? Maybe. <laughs> oh, no. Krillin's kind of ballsy. Yeah. <laughs> My god. <laughs> oh my god. Goku fishing. <laughs> Doesn't do what soon. Is that a turtle? Oh no. What? Oh, that is so improbable, and it implies so many things. But oh, <laughs> oh no. I'm. I don't want to see this. Come on, she's going to the fucking bathroom, dude. That's why you wanted the device. I can see your shit from a mile away, Roshi. It makes me upset. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was worth it. That's great. Stop being weird, Roshi, and it won't happen to you, man. I know you guys like Roshi. I'm sorry I don't like him at the moment. It's just I can't stand him. He's when he's being a pedophile. It just it bothers me. I do respect him for being wise and teaching Goku, but I 
it hurts to watch him. It really does. The submarine flies <laughs> again. <laughs> Why would the Dragon Ball be in that treasure, though? It makes sense it was the first time we were finding it, but <laughs> with how, like, uh, they got rescattered, that doesn't make too much sense, but it's fine. Oh my god. Oh shit. So they are actually going to the Kamei house, and that's where the Dragon Balls are. Alright, I think that's our three episodes, and I did say that I'd shut up about it. I'm just going to touch on it one more time because I don't want you guys to think that I hate these episodes or anything. It's just the those moments with Roshi and how he is, it's not that I care how Roshi acts necessarily. It's a direct reflection of how humanity is at its core, and it's it's disgusting to me. Um... It's just because, like, I, I picture, like, the writers actually writing the shit, and, like, I try to think, like, what the hell would go through their head if they think it's okay. It's just a time, different time period. I need to accept that. It's just, it's really hard to get through those points, and I'm well aware of that. I, I'm just, I'm sorry for all the complaining when it comes to the Roshi moments. I just, I can't help it, because I'm, I'm honest with you guys. I'm not going to tell you I find Roshi hilarious and the best guy ever if he's not. Um, but uh, that was my only negative, is just how Roshi was, and... And, and like the unnecessary just kind of like weird vibes from the red ribbon army like that wasn't really necessary to do at all and it doesn't need to be in like a a gag anime kind of cartoon kind of deal you know like it just it ruined the whole vibe i was just enjoying you know some wholesome goku and they just hit you with that and for me it's a direct reminder of just how gross humanity is and it bothers me but again that's that's my only issue with that i don't actually have any real issues with these episodes other than that and i really did enjoy them we got to meet this thief and really get to see her in action and really get to see her just kind of outthink everybody and it was uh really interesting to see and then we got trapped on a freaking island <laughs> and uh had to deal with some uh red ribbon army because they were already stationed there which was interesting and now, this entire episode was basically just being trapped at Roshi's house, and it was about what you'd expect being trapped at Roshi's house. So, um, these were some good episodes, though. I, I just, I, I do gotta say, like, it just ended up killing my vibe at a certain point because of how things were going. But, uh, I know it was the 80s. I don't hate the show for it, and I'm not stopping the show. I will continue it. Um, but these weren't my favorite batch of episodes. I just, I'm honest with you guys when I tell you that. But uh, I did enjoy my time spending with Goku and uh, the, the gang, you know. <laughs> it was it was a fun time, but uh, just kind of took a different turn there. I just didn't enjoy it towards the uh, latter end of the second episode we watched and all the way through the third. So it wasn't my vibe, but uh, I didn't hate the episodes. But uh, I think that's really all I have to say about them. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'm sorry it wasn't like the best crazy time in the world this time. But uh, I did enjoy myself nonetheless. I want you guys to know that. But uh, 
We do have Attack on Titan, like I said, on Sundays, this show on Mondays, Avatar on Tuesdays, and Fridays will be Loki. So if any of that interests you, feel free to check it out. But if not, it's fine. But uh, I'm going to get out of your hair. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. We do have the Patreon if it interests you, but never feel obligated. I'm going to get out of your hair. I'm going to get out of your hair. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. <laughs>